So the other day, November 20th to be exact, was Trans Day of Remembrance, a day that I didn't even know existed until I saw it trending on Twitter. Basically, it's a pretty self-explanatory day. It's a day in remembrance to those who were transgender who unfortunately lost their lives due to anti-transgender violence. You know, a pretty unfortunate, and it's a day that, you know, you're probably not going to be seeing me post about, honestly, but still... You know, I have no qualms with the day. If one wants, uh, if one wants to mourn uh, those who uh, those who were transgender who lost their lives due to uh, due to completely fucking disgusting bigots and uh, taking their lives, then fine. Let them do. Uh, let them do that. But good old Steven Crowder saw this trending on Twitter and saw this as a golden opportunity to push his content on Twitter. And here are some of the tweets he made on this day using using the Trans Day of Remembrance hashtag. Hashtag Trans Day of Remembrance is all about men stealing sports victory from women. Hashtag Trans Day of Remembrance? When does science get a day of remembrance? Celebrate Hashtag Trans Day of Remembrance with the triggering, there are only two genders. Hashtag Trans Day of Remembrance means it's totally fine to cheat in sports so long as you call yourself trans. On hashtag Trans Day of Remembrance Day, let's not forget Stefan Knee, the 53-year-old pigtailed six-year-old girl. Hashtag Trans Day of Remembrance, there are only two genders. On this Transgender Day of Remembrance, it's easier to honor men who menstruate. Hashtag We All Bleed. Alright, I get it, dude. You want to look like the big, tough, anti-SJW man in front of your stupid-ass audience that thinks, Oh, I want Steven Crowder opponent the libtards, y'all. That means I'm so smart. I, I know, you want to appeal those fucking retards. But this is... Uh, but th this isn't the way, dude. This just isn't the way. Like, do you not know what this... What the fuck Trans Day of Remembrance is even all about? It's about the those who lost their, who lost their lives because some stupid-ass bigots felt the need to take their lives all because they were transgender all because they were they were a group of people they were they were part of a group of people that they didn't like so they felt the need to kill those people out out, out of just sheer fucking hatred and you just feel the need to use that day to plug your shitty ass content and make a mockery of these people all because well one you wanted to boost your views and two you just wanted to be like oh look at these crazy people aren't they so kooky i mean it, you know this shit uh, can carry over to real life right and it does you know people have this this mentality that oh these transgender people are so fucking crazy and they're so fucking awful oh i hate them so fucking much and just this hateful attitude towards them for no good fucking reason and that in turn causes a lot of people who are trans to not to be too afraid to come out and and, and be in you know just be themselves and just live and, and just live a complete lie their entire lives in fear that you know they'll be harassed by these people that uh, that you know they'll be attacked by some fucking stupid transphobe just this complete fucking stupid bigot and in turn they'll stay in the closet too afraid to come out. All because of all these fucking idiots in the world who, who just can't accept that a guy wants to be a girl or a girl wants to be a guy. Like, why the fuck does it have to be this huge hot button issue, honestly? Like, why the fuck can't, uh, can't a guy just tra transition to a girl or a girl transition to a guy? Whatever the fuck. Like, why the fuck does it have to be this huge fucking issue? And why the fuck should, should they not be allowed to transition to whatever gender they, they want to be? Like, again, why the fuck should this be such a huge fucking issue? They don't affect you in the fucking slightest, and y and you shouldn't affect their lives, all because, oh, I don't like them, they don't align with my beliefs. So the fuck what? The world doesn't revolve around you, and let them do whatever the fuck they want to do. Especially here in the USA, you know, the supposed land of the free. But apparently, no, they, these people can't have the freedom to do what they want. These people have to fucking live uh, live life in fear of, uh, of being rejected by people, of being harassed by people. And it doesn't help that, uh, that prominent figures like Crowder help perpetuate this shit, because their thought process is just this. Oh, tranny equal liberal and liberal equal bad so uh, so that automatically means a day in remembrance to those who, who lost their lives who are transgender or who lost their lives due to anti-transgender violence you know that day is automatically just a fucking joke just liberal propaganda
<sighs> Give me a fucking break already. Holy shit. And this is what I fucking hate about a lot of anti-SJW channels out there. You know, it's all about oh, tra or opposing liberals, triggering the left, you know, shit like that. You know, not actually being objective, not calling out both sides when bo uh, when either side is wrong. You know, they, they, they're, they're a kiss-ass to, uh, to one side while scrutinizing the other side. At this point, uh, how, uh, how the fuck are you better than those who are on the left who demonize those who are on the right? You're, you're not better. You're not better at all. You're a kiss-ass to your side, and you're scrutinizing another side for everything, uh, for, for everything, uh, you know, acting like they do every single thing wrong while pretending your side is in the right. Pretending that you're the ones who never get triggered, uh, tri get triggered by anything. Meanwhile, you're the ones who freak the fuck out when, oh no, someone doesn't stand for the, for the flag. How dare they? And this, this is all Crowder Stick is. Just, oh, triggering the lefties. You know, his little change my mind segment. You know, it's just fucking stupid, honestly. He just goes at, he just goes after the lowest tangy fruit, you know, the fucking college kids. Or, you know, um, uh, getting in debates with fucking college kids about rape culture. Or there being more than two genders. This is shit like that. Shit, <sighs> You know, and then he walks away, you know, obviously winning the debate because, you know, he's fucking arguing with college kids and being like, yep, this is all, this is all the left consists of stupid college kids who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <sighs> So fucking sick of him. I'm so fucking sick of channels like him too. And this is why I don't pay any mind to most of the anti SJWs out there. Because a lot of them are just fucking retarded. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye.